Okay, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to install the uh, aileron servo. I'm going to install the right aileron. Uh, the left aileron will be identical, so I won't film it. But uh, let me show you what I got ready to go here. I got a push rod with a uh, little nut on it. Um, got the servo. Got the four screws that hold the servo in place. Got my little bag that had all the aileron stuff in it. And so um, I'll only take half of it out. So I'm going to put one control horn back, one clevis back, and one, two, three of the six screws for, and that'll be for the other wing. Okay, so I got a clevis control horn and three screws to hold the control horn in place. Um, I got a, um, servo horn drill. Uh, this drills out the servo horn, uh, and I'm going to use the last hole on the, on the horn, uh, the servo arm here. Um, it's a hobby co, um, it's, uh, a 564 or 1.9 millimeter um, drill and I'm going to use that. I'll go ahead and use it now <clears throat> um, to uh, let's see here uh, to drill out this and you're using the 1.9 because that's the size of this push rod. This is going to have a Z bend in it. I got my Z bent my Great Plains uh, Z bending tool here and I'll show, show you how to use that in a minute. But the size of this is the 564 for this drill, and that Z bend is going to go in the last hole of um, the arm on the servo. So just simply drill that out, and then you'll see that this uh, will go in very nicely. <clears throat> so that's why you need the drill. I got my receiver and my battery and my and my uh, transmitter. So when we're ready to center it all up. Okay, so um, if I don't knock these all off the table, I'm going to move them over here. And um, let's see here. That's the left servo. Don't need it. <clears throat> Put that over there. Okay, so the right uh, wing, you can see that that's the right wing. The correct wing, which is the right wing. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is um, stop and get some tape. Um, I'll be right back. I need some tape. Well, wait a minute. Maybe I can use this tape. Okay. So, um, this little piece of tape here will probably work well enough because you have to tape the uh, that string to the end of the extension I got the 18 inch extension here uh, and you got to tape that uh, little piece of string to the end of the extension wire and pull it through so let's see if this will actually work probably should doesn't have to hold it very long just has to hold it in place long enough to get her around there Okay, that should work. So now, <clears throat> I'm going to stuff that down in while I pull on this end of the string. Unfortunately, you can see what's going on because they have this nice clear coat, clear monocoat. Uh, uh, so you can actually see if it gets hung up or not. As it does right now. There we go. Okay, and remember that the uh, servo is going to go um, with the arm in that direction and the um, horn or the, the arm toward the top uh, leading edge of the wing and the arm pointing out toward the wingtip. <clears throat> so, uh, while I'm at it, still got the string attached here. 
I'm going to go ahead and run that string um, up through the hole and pull that uh, uh, extension wire all the way through the little hole that's here. Okay. Okay, so that's now through and out, and you can see how much I've got after an 18 inch uh, wire. Uh, and I, uh, I like that amount so that I can have the wing um, flipped over on its back while I hook the um, wires together for the ailerons. This low tack, this low tack tape isn't as low tack as you think sometimes. All right, so that'll stay in place in the hole. Um, okay, those look good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and screw the four um, screws in. You don't need to see that. I'll be back in a minute.